Hello class, today what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be using the smart board to solve these, this should be fun. Um, hopefully these turn out a lot better, hopefully the sound quality is also there too. Um, let me know if that's bad because i got to fix it if it's not. Anyway, so first step here when I look at this problem is I want to see what needs to be done before I can combine like terms. And what that means is I can't, right here, I can't manipulate this n because of these parentheses. So what I have to do is I have to distribute the n throughout the parentheses. So I have 3 times n, which is 3n, and then I have 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. And then I bring down the negative 2n minus 16. I always want to bring that down so it's all in the same line. Next step is I want to take a step back and I want to see where are my variables. So I'm going to circle my variables. And I'm going to realize that I have two variables. Well, the next thing what I'm going to think about is, where's more of the variables at? Well, I have positive on the right and negative on the left. So what I want to do is, the hater is now the smaller variable, which is the negative 2n. Opposite of negative 2n is positive 2n. So I'm going to add 2n to both sides. This is going to cancel out. I'm going to be left with negative 16 equals 5n minus 6. Now realize I put that minus 6 still in purple because look at it. It is, if I circle the variable and take care of the hater, it is the hater. Opposite of po negative 6 is positive 6, so I add 6 to both sides. I get negative 10 equals 5n. Circle the variable, take care of the hater. Then operation is multiplication, so I'm going to divide by 5. And I'm going to get n equals negative 2. Now notice I flipped it, it should say negative 2 equals n, but remember you can always change which side what on, as long as you flip both sides. Next problem, what we have here is number 2. Please realize you can go back and pause it on that last screen just to make sure. Again, first thing we want to do is distribute, so I have 3 times 1, which is 3. Then I have 3 times negative b. Notice how I underline that so I make sure I'm dealing with that sign because it's going to be negative 3b. And then what I have is equals 8 plus 2b. Notice it's black because I'm just bringing it down. I'm not changing anything. Next one is we have circle of variables. I have variables on both sides. Notice I'm circling with the signs in front because that's what matters. Where do I have more variables? on the right, where the positive variable is at. So I'm going to take care of the one on the left, which I'm going to do the opposite, which means add 3b. These are going to cancel out. I'm going to bring down the 3. Notice I'm keeping the color just for your help. Equals 8 plus 2 plus 3 is 5b. Again, I want to circle the variable, take care of the hater. Positive 8, so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Negative 5 equals 5b b equals negative 1. Realize you can write the variable on the right side. That's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's take a look at the next problem. We want to see is what's the first step? First step in, in PEMDAS is what? Yes, exactly. Parentheses. So I'm going to distribute. So I have positive 3 times 2x, just 6x. And then I'm going to distribute. I'm going to have positive 3 times positive 3 is positive 9. And then bring down the rest, the negative 1 plus, which that is probably where most people are going to mess up. They're going to forget about that negative 1, and it's going to completely ruin the problem. Now, again, I circle all my variables, including that sign, including that sign. Where do I have more? Well, they're both positive, so which one's the bigger number? The 6. So I actually have to subtract 3 because the opposite of positive 3x is negative 3x. Sometimes I like to draw a line there. Other times I also like to draw a line there so I can differentiate the left and right side of the equation. So I'm left with 3x and this cancels out. And then I just bring down everything else which means equal 20 plus 9 and plus a negative 1. Now there are several ways to go about this problem now. The easiest one is when I circle the variable, I see that I have two numbers. Well, I can add those two numbers up. So we have 9 minus 1 is just plus 8. Now when I circle the variable, I can say, okay, I circle the variable, take care of the hater, I subtract 8 from both sides. I'm left with 3x equals 12. I circle the variable, take care of the hater, divide by 3, 
divide by 3, and I get x equals 4. Next problem, what we have here is the same exact thing. Distribute first, 9x. Now, I'm going to do this problem a little bit differently. I'm going to do this problem as if I were doing the problem. Um, so it's, a lot of stuff's going to be shorthand here. So I have 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. Now, what I'm doing is I'm assuming that this whole part right here is gone. So I would just shift up that 9x minus 6 to replace what's in that purple box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see that I need to combine like terms. So I have 9x and I have 4x, which means I have 13x, and then I rewrite the negative 6. And now what I'm saying is all of this has now disappeared. So now I'm just looking at the problem. There's negative 6x minus 3x equals 13x plus 6. Well, circle the variables. If you're ever stuck, just circle the variables and it'll literally scream out what to do. Where do I have more x's? On the right side. Do the opposite. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I'm left with 16x minus 6. And now at this point, see I was a little bit jarbled. I'm going to just rewrite the negative 6 because now it's a lot easier. And now I'm looking at everything below that line. Circle the variable, take care of the hater, add 6 to both sides. I get 16x equals 0, therefore x equals 0. The next problem I'm going to do even shorter. This is exactly the work that I want, the minimal amount of work that this will take. So I'm going to write 4b plus 8 equals. That's step number one. Step number two is I'm going to do two steps at once. I'm going to add 3b to both sides, so I'm going to have 7b. And I'm going to subtract 8, so I'm going to have negative 7. I'm going to divide by 7, so I'm going to get b equals negative 1. That's the absolute minimum amount of work that I need to see on all these problems. Because um, that's the work that I would show, and I am really lazy. Next one, last one is, I'm going to do the shorthand again, so equals 2x plus 8. Now I'm going to combine the variables and the numbers all at once. So I'm going to subtract 2x, so I'm going to get x, and then I'm going to subtract 10, negative 2, and I'm done. I got lucky there because the x coefficient disappeared when I subtracted the x's. So that's really a very easy problem if you look at it that way. Um, that's the first six problems. You guys have a little bit more to do. Hopefully you are good for the sub. Please respect the sub. Again, can't stress that enough. Please don't make me punish you guys with more work. I already give you a lot, as is. Anyways, I will see you on Thursday. Best of luck.